Hey guys, welcome to episode number 245. Today is another weekend episode, and as you can see, the koi pond is about 98% complete. Um, you'll notice we have three Home Depot buckets over there. Uh, we're going to release some koi today. But first, I want to talk about a few things that are going on here to wrap this project up and uh, introduce the proud pond owner, my coworker Gary. Hey Gary, how's it going? It's going great, how are Good. you? What are we doing here? So right now, we're trying to get to, we're at the final part of the project where the drainage to the house, yep. uh, that's what I'm doing today, it needs to be redirected. Okay. Reason being is that the tar, because it's a new roof, sure. the tar and everything comes off the shingles, the original plan was to feed that into the water and right. they recommended that that's a bad idea. So okay. it created a lot more work for me as you can yep. see. And we got a lot of rocks in the ground, huh? Yeah, so <laughs> something simple like digging a trench here, you run into a couple little rocks. Sure. That uh, you know eat up time. Sure. So, but, so we're gonna run we're gonna run that drain line off yeah. into the woods along with the uh, the overflow uh, yep. for the skimmer box, yep. uh, as well as the backwash for the uh, the filter there, right? Yes. And we've got a little bit of a, a patio area going on in here with like pea gravel, a couple chairs. Sit yeah. back, relax, enjoy the pool sort of thing? Yes, exactly. So um, the idea is to get this pipe fit in first because yep. what we're going to turn this area into is a patio like you said. But it's going to be round. So yep. We've got a little bump out that uh, Greg and myself uh, built out here. So sure. what we're going to do is bring the water level up, bring these rocks a little higher, pack it with some dirt, and then uh, make a circle. Big circumference here, maybe a 15... Uh, foot circle and diameter yep. here. I got some pea stone out there, put it down, make sure it's level so you can you know, enjoy the fire and watch the lake. Sure, that'll look great. And I noticed the, the water's gotten a little cloudy here over the past couple days. We had a little bit of a rainstorm, and uh, actually we think a little bit of rain runoff has entered the, the pond, right? Yes, that's correct. All right, let's, uh, let's go over and check out the backwash feature and uh, see how that works. Um, I don't think that's going to solve the, uh, the murkiness issue in the water, but certainly we can uh, work on redirecting that water so that it doesn't enter the pond. Right. Uh, so what do we have here? We've got the three lines. So this is a three line in the, in the high pressure system here. Yep. So, uh, you know, you get your input, your output that go uh, to the waterfall. Yep. And then over here is your backwash drainage. All right, so let's see how it works. So it's very simple. All you do is uh, redirect the water to the other line. Yep. Like so and then give it a few seconds, let it build up some pressure there. Release that. Release that open. And then we've got uh, the water backwashing Looking off into good. the woods here. And then you have a handle on top to squeeze all the sponges yep. and try to get, you know, the gross stuff out. Sure. And then basically rule of thumb, you just watch the water over there. And once yep. it looks clear and clean like it does right now, yep. you shut that valve off, redirect it, Shut this valve off. Great, and there we go. Now these uh, these these lines are a little bit short over here. I notice uh, it doesn't quite make it all the way into the woods, and we've got some electrical here. We want to be yep. careful of that. Uh, so we're going to extend these a little bit further off into the yep. the woods wanna, there. Exactly. So as you can see, there's a lot of rocks here. We have a good area to pool water underneath the rocks, so you know, yep. it helps with the mosquitoes. You don't have an open surface. Sure. So what we're going to do is just extend that hose, you know, make it look pretty. You're not going to be able to see it. We'll put rocks around it. Right. Uh, and do the same for this here. We're going to bury the trench and just run it over here into the rocks and just kind of let it take on its own little thing. Just All make right. sure it's not exposed to the air and you go. Awesome. All right, enough of that boring stuff. Let's go release the fish now. <laughs> That's right. the real reason we're here. Uh, so I have three koi that I adopted. They've been living in my 300-gallon stock tank in the basement for the better part of a year, and they've about doubled in size. Um, my turtles have been kind of uh, chasing them a little bit, and so uh, obviously, you know, with them outgrowing the... Uh, the, the, uh, the stock tank, we wanted to introduce them uh, into the pond, let them kind of swim free and get away from the turtles. So Absolutely. why don't you go ahead and uh, grab those fish out of the buckets and let's put them in the water. But let's take a look at them real quick. Sure. Uh, so right here we've got, what would you say that is, like a 10 inch fish? Yeah, that's about it's an 8 to 9 inch fish. 8 to 9 inch fish? Yeah, minus the fins of course. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so primarily orange butterfly fins. We got like a, what is this, 6 inch butterfly? Yeah. 
Got a little bit of yellow, uh, a little bit of white uh, mixed in with the the orange there. Kind of hard to see because they're in orange buckets. <laughs> and then uh, this guy, oh, he's going to be hard to see with all the glare. But he's actually kind of like half half white, uh, half orange. Maybe we'll see him better as we take him out of the buckets and uh, put him into the pond. So go ahead. Yep. So basically, instead of just dumping the bucket into the pond, we don't want to mix two different types of pond water. Potentially introduce a problem. Yep. So, but of course, at Greg's house, it's not a problem. <laughs> His is parasite clay. Right. Right. Sure. <laughs> of course. And uh, we've already acclimated these to uh, to temperature, so they're ready to go. All right. All right. So I am going to attempt yeah. to pick it up by hand. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, instead of like banging a net around in yep. there and potentially hurting the fish, I'm going to try yep. to do it by hand. All right. And hmm, release it. Over there. Yeah, let's let's just uh, put them put them right in here, so you don't have to walk too far. Right, here we go. Let's see. If Good this luck. Is, if this is possible. If Gary drops the fish, maybe we'll go get the net. All right, let's. Uh, don't get me paranoid, man. <laughs> yeah, like I can pull them out, but I'm afraid I don't want to squeeze them. All right, let's see All right, the net. Let's go get the net. Uh, backup plan. I oh, us have a backup plan. You got like a. I don't want to give him a death grip. A six-inch I mean? net here. That should work fairly well. Uh, let's take a look at them real quick when we've got them in the net, just so we can see the colors on them. There we go. So he's nice and white and orange. Go ahead and put yep. him in the water. I'll try not to put myself in. Uh, yeah, seriously. It's a much, much bigger home for these fish. We've actually already got some uh, some water boatmen uh, bugs in this pond. Uh, they fly in and then they swim around in the water. Uh, we'll see if the koi actually uh, go after those. That would but, be awesome. Uh, he's a little unsure what's going on, but he's uh, hanging out near the rocks there. We'll go for the second one here. Take a look at him. Uh, he's again yep. mixed orange and white. Yeah. Put him in. Butterfly koi. Butterfly koi in the koi pond. The first inhabitants. I'm sure there'll be many more, but these will be good to get you started. There's your buddy. Oh yeah, look. A little reunion there. Yeah. It's like I remember you. Alright. Let's do the last one. This guy's a little and bit bigger. The pup, pup he might fish. he might thrash around a little bit more in that net than the other two. Alright, we'll get him real good. But he's uh, he's completely orange there. Looks like yep. a giant goldfish. It does. Release <laughs> him up there. All right. Not easy. And there we go, guys. So we got three koi in the koi pond. Obviously, a lot more can fit, um, but we'll let these guys kind of uh, adjust to their new setting. And uh, you know, maybe in a couple weeks, we can order a couple couple yeah. bags and uh, and we'll be back to see how those are doing uh, these guys look like they're a little freaked out they're just kind of chilling but uh, you have to remember they've never been in something more than a 300 gallon stock tank their entire lives so a pond is a, a new experience to them so <laughs> yeah so hopefully hopefully they uh, they adjust well uh, to their new environment here. They're kind of the, the kings of this uh, this domain. Um, but that's about all we have for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.